wait. Very formal sentence. So I made them. I made a mistake. Oh god. Oh, this is confusing. So I think there are actually two possibilities here. I don't know if that's part of the question. Hello and good evening from a very wet and rainy Sunday in uh, the UK today. Uh, starting off the video by doing what any British man should and talking about the weather. But welcome to part two of the Center Shiken uh, exam questions. Last episode we did the multiple choice, the filling in the gaps, and this episode we are doing the word order questions. So, question number one. Tony. Those decorations in the hall look great, don't they? I'm glad we finished on time. May. Yes, thank you so much. Without your help, the preparations... Blank. All the guests arrived this afternoon. So we have six words or six phrases to put in in the correct order here. We have been, by, completed, have, the time, would not. Okay. So, the first thing you should be looking for is what word fits with preparation or preparations and you try and want to try and put them in a logical order so we have uh, without your help the preparations been no by no completed no have no the time no that leaves only one would not so now uh, without your help the preparations would not and then have been completed by the time all the guests arrived this afternoon. Uh, it's like a little song. So, in order, that is, your help, the preparations would not have been completed by the time. Okay? Question number two. Mr. Smith has two daughters in school now, right? Actually, he has three. The blank London. I don't think you've met her yet. Okay, so. London, beautiful city, would recommend going. <laughs> Uh, got to figure out what goes with the topic. So they're talking about daughters and youngest, comparative. Um, so you go youngest. Hmm, actually, he has three. The youngest is studying music. Wait. Ah, okay. Very formal sentence. So I made them. I made a mistake. It's quite a difficult question this one. This one, uh, there's a sense of formality, very posh speak. Um, I wouldn't say this, but somebody who's maybe 60 years old, 70 years old might use this phrase. Uh, three, the youngest of whom is studying music in London. So the youngest of whom, it's, it's a very old phrase. The youngest, so you say, the youngest of whom you don't need of whom anymore. In modern English, you can just say the youngest is studying music in London. That's what I would say. But the question, the answer to the question is actually he has three, the youngest of whom is studying music in London. Okay. Question number three. It might rain this weekend, so I wonder if we should still have the class barbecue in the park. Yeah, we have to decide now whether to hold it blank until someday next week. We should have thought about the chance of rain. We have as it off or planned put. I can't count, okay? I'm an English teacher, not a maths teacher. My fingers are all over the place. Um, so, whether to hold it as planned or put it off until someday next week. So, uh, yeah, we have to decide now whether to hold it as planned or put it off until someday next week. Uh, put it off is kind of a phrasal verb, put it off, um, meaning to delay, so to make it late almost like, oh, I put off seeing my parents until the week after because, you know, I had something else come up, uh, for example. So. Quite, again, quite difficult. I think all these questions are fairly hard, and if you're doing this just in school, that's very impressive. Um, okay.
Now we have a different type of question here uh, in part C. Oh god. Oh, this is confusing. I understand it. But looking at this paper, that is weird. A, 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 B, 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 A, 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 B, or. Okay, so, and you have to pick the correct chunk and create a full sentence out of three different options. I understand. I heard a new amusement park could be built in our neighborhood. Really? That would be great for the kids in our area. Yes, but nobody is happy about the increased traffic near the houses. But blank, young people, it will definitely have a positive economic effect on our city. Or economic. I would say economic? Would I say economic or economic? I say both, doesn't matter. Right. According to the experts, or thanks to the neighbours, which both make sense uh, at this start of the sentence, but we need to figure out which one makes more sense later. So, but according to the experts, thanks to the neighbours, it will create less noise. It will create more jobs. Four in. So you've got to put these options together and make a sentence. Okay, you've got to think of the situation. They're talking about uh, a theme park, an amusement park, and the effect it's going to have locally. So who's going to have more of a say here? Is it the experts or the neighbors? It's probably the experts. If the experts are talking about it, it will create less noise or it will create more jobs. Is an amusement park going to create less noise? Absolutely not. Everyone's going to be screaming and falling down rides and losing arms. Just, an, there was an incident in the UK a few years ago where a girl lost her legs in an amusement park. Anyway, so uh, logically, the, the structure is A, according to the experts, B, it will create more jobs, A, for young people. That's good. Young people get to go have jobs at the amusement park. That'd be a fun job, wouldn't it? So the answer here is A, B, A, which is answer number three, A, B, A. Very complicated. <laughs> that's needlessly complicated, but um, that's quite interesting for a question, actually. I've never seen anything like that. That's cool. We have two more of these types of questions. Question number two. I heard Emma is planning to quit her full-time job. Yeah, she's going to start her own company. Wow, her husband must be angry because they need money for their new house. <laughs> <laughs> Very much so, but blank to Emma's plan. They always support each other in the end. Although or because he is quite upset, he isn't so upset. He doesn't object, he objects. Okay, pay attention to the final sentence. They always support each other in the end. Happy ending. So, context driven. The last answer is probably he doesn't object. If they always support each other in the end, then he probably won't object to this plan of quitting her job and uh, starting her own company, which even if they do need money. Now you just have to work out the rest of the sentence, and this is actually quite difficult. Although he is quite upset, he doesn't object. Yeah, that makes sense, because he isn't so upset he doesn't object also makes sense. This is a very strange... Set up. I think there are actually two possibilities here. I don't know if that's part of the question. Again, I can't read Japanese, so whoops. But I would say there's two different answers. And the sad. The first one would be although he is quite upset, he doesn't object, which means yeah, he's he's a bit sad, a bit mad about it, but it's fine. He doesn't say no. They'll get on with it. Um, and that makes sense because they always support each other in the end. So, yes, very much so, but although he's quite upset, he doesn't object to Emma's plan. That's fine. The other is very much so, but because he isn't so upset, he doesn't object to Emma's plan. That also makes sense, but in the previous sentence, Lee said um, that he was very angry, or very much so, to being angry. So I guess the context is driving you towards the answer one, which is A A A. Although he is quite upset, he doesn't object. They always support each other in the end, which is nice. That's heartwarming. Question number three, last question. Why are there fire trucks in front of the school? It's because there is a fire drill scheduled for this morning. Again, we just had one last semester. I already know what to do. 
Even if you think you do, the drill is blank to help each other in case of a disaster. We should take it seriously. So we have essential or meaningless. Even so, so that. We can, we cannot. So, again, context is important. The Hinjiro has said, oh, we had one last semester, why do we need another one? And Mr. Sakamoto says, uh, even if you think you know what to do, we need to help each other in case of disaster. So they're talking quite highly of it. They're saying this is good, this is a good thing. So Mr. Sakamoto would, wouldn't then say that it's meaningless. So you can immediately rule that out. So the, the first one is A, essential. Um, and then looking at the second part, essential um, then only really makes sense with B, so that. Uh, the drill is essential, so that. And then if they're talking about helping each other, uh, it's obviously going to be B, we cannot. We cannot help each other. Uh, I'm kidding. It's going to be A, so it would be A, B, A, essential, so that we can help each other in case of a disaster. So the full sentence, even if you think you do, the drill is essential, so that we can help each other in case of a disaster. Thank you for watching uh, part two of the Sentashikan questions, and I will see you soon with another episode. Sayonara.